Hey there, welcome to another update. As you can see, we had quite a bit of rain again. You can see some standing puddles. A little bit too wet to do much with the horses, so I thought I would take Teddy ground driving and work a little bit with my driving whip with him. I've done very little uh, practice with him with the driving whip, and of course the driving whip is not used to beat the horse, it's used to give aids to the horse, to um, help in your steering if you're going to the right or to the left, and used for a few other things. So I'm going to get my driving whip out, and I think I'm going to set my camera on a tripod. I don't have my husband here. Sorry about that. I had to navigate some mud. <laughs> anyway, let me get that set up, and we'll see how he does. When using a driving whip, you're using it as an aid. If you want the horse's shoulders or front end to move over, you want to lightly touch the horse on the shoulder, either on the right or the left, if you're turning. If you want their hind end to move over, you touch them lightly on, their, on the side of their rump. And it's just like a guide. You know, when you're riding a horse, you use your legs for different aids. And when you're driving, you use the driving whip for different aids. And my driving whip is called actually an ultralight. I bought it from a whip maker out in California who is also someone who does a lot of driving with horses. And I really like it because it is so lightweight. Um, it's made out of carbon and it's very helpful for me because I do have fibromyalgia and when I hold things for a while my hand will go numb. But um, Teddy's responding very well. We've had Teddy since he was four months old and he he picks up things very quickly and practicing a little bit at a trot but I'm very pleased with how he's doing bring him to a little stop here and uh, a little backing Teddy's never had much trouble backing of course the key with backing is you want to keep the horse straight when they back and I did a lot of practicing right smack next to the woods, which really helps. You go do it in different directions, and that way it helps to guide the horse, and it helps them to learn to back straight. But he's, he's just turning here nicely, doing a good job, bring him to a stop. Make sure he's square after he stops, and bring him back a little bit. I'll probably do one more back. Here it is. He did a great job. I'm very pleased with him. That's just an introduction for him, for me using the whip. He's this little horse. I've had him since he was very young. And um, he's just very bright. Usually, I think almost everything I've taught him, I've had to show him maybe once, twice. He just learns everything so quickly. I'm going to take him up near the swing set. Um, he's not concerned about the swing set. He likes to actually play in the swing set. And of course, I no, we're not going to play right now. I don't have a cart, of course, but I don't want him used to just going up and walking through a swing set when he's attached to a cart. That's not um, the greatest thing in the world. Let's go this way, Teddy. Come. Come. There you go. Go up and see Susie in Salem for a minute. Hi, Susie and Salem. Yeah, you want to say hi to your buddies? Hi, Susie. Hi, Salem. Yeah, hello. Hello. Okay, let's go away. Come back. Come left. Good job. Walk up. I hope you all have a very happy new year. Hope it's a healthy new year. And I will see you at our next update. Bye for now.